Hi guys, um, my name is Markus Van Kempen. I like to show you how I use MQTT to divide, connect devices to the Internet of Things Cloud. So um, what I really wanted to do is I, I wanted to get a grip on, you know, what can you do with MQTT and uh, why is it so cool? So, so the scenario I came up with is that um, on my computer I'm going to have a little proxy which basically gets a temperature from one of my Nest devices and then we're going to publish this to um, the Internet of Things Cloud or an MQTT broker and I'm going to have another tool on my notebook which can also subscribe to the, the, the IoT Cloud and get the same kind of messages. And then the goal in, in, in the end day is that I can actually send a command from uh, from my MQTT client, which then gets uh, published via uh, the Internet of Things cloud back to um, to the Nest device. So the first thing I, I did is I created this little proxy program, which basically pulls the data from the from the Nest device. And there's a nice um, a Node JavaScript out there which you can use. Um, to, to do that. Um, there's a more elaborated API from Nest there which you can do where you can do a lot more but for this purpose it was fine. So I built this little program which basically gets me the data. Then what I had to do is um, I subscribed to the Internet of Things uh, cloud from IBM. You can use uh, also uh, an MQTT broker like Mosquito. Um, and then I modified my little program a little bit to publish the data which I received from Nest to the Internet of Things Cloud. So let me show you these steps for now. So here I have my my little program. Let's go here. Well, that's, got, that's pretty good. Here's my Nest. So the bedroom is at the moment it's um, it's 20 point something degrees and it's set uh, to heat when it goes below 18. So here's my little program which basically will log on to Nest and pulls the same kind of data. Um, uh, when I start it sets it to 20 just so that I know that it works. So we see here we get the same data so if I change the data here a bit to 19 we should see the numbers changing here too. Here you see the 17 coming in. 17 so that's a target temperature 17. So we got we got this thing going. I also had to subscribe to this um, Internet of Things cloud. I said so. Once you subscribe and go through the motions, you basically get some uh, information how you're going to connect to this. So this is basically here in my little JavaScript. And uh, what I did then in my JavaScript, there's a little there's a specific JSON format, if you will, which uh, the Internet of Things cloud likes is where you can actually it's a D for data, I guess, some sort of name and some, some, some JSON parameters. So I did this here and you see here's my device, my notebook um, and it basically publishes the same data which we get here. So remember it's 1729 and if I click here we should see the same kind of JSON. Thing. So it goes up from my notebook up to the Internet of Things cloud and then we can basically now we can subscribe to this thing. So if we go back to the PowerPoint real quick. So the next step I wanted to do is to just, you know, subscribe with another um, MQTT client to my cloud. So there is a nice client out there. There's multiple clients out there. Obviously, I just I use this uh, this this client here it's a let us clear this so again it connects to the IBM Internet of Things IoT cloud so I connect to the cloud and now um, I can subscribe to my messages so what happens is the same way my my IoT cloud broker gets the messages I can subscribe here on my notebook to to get the same messages so what happens is my little program here shoots the messages to the broker 
and the booker basically distributes the message to whoever has subscribed to them in, in this case my little power client okay so so far so good so we got this going so what the other thing I wanted to do is um, I wanted to visualize the data so there's another little tool I found where you can actually again it's another MQTT client I uh, can select my devices here so let me just go back so here I select my devices and uh, what happens is again it subscribes to this data which I published to the cloud and you see here 20 and 17 so target temperature is 17 and it's 20 so now if I go to nest and I change it to 19 we should see that it's going up to 19 right so so far so good so you can have you have a broker you can have multiple clients or devices the clients can subscribe to events uh, where they, they call this subscription mechanism you subscribe to a certain topic and um, so that's so far pretty cool so we get all this data so the next step I wanted to do is um, is basically I wanted to put some logic in my little proxy which basically fakes the device which can receive a command to set the temperature so what I did is um, obviously in the code here there's a little bit of JavaScript code but you can subscribe to a topic so here I subscribe to a certain topic um, and I wait for a certain JSON format so once I get this um, notification about my topic then I fish out the temperature and shoot a message to nest so the way this works is if we go back to our client so here's my my MQTT client so here we have our visualization right so we nest is now set on 15 so let's just make sure say I'm gonna send it lower so I publish this so I publish this we see nest is gonna go down to 12 and we should see that my little program here actually um, received this event and uh, set the temperature we should see this also on our visualization you see whoop, I set the temperature here so and I can obviously increase the temperature back to what it should be say 68 Boom. so here it goes up so that was the scenario I wanted to know and uh, fiddle with basically in order to see what can be done and how MQTD works with, uh, with the devices so this is basically the, the scenario so we were able to I think so, yeah so we were able to get the data from Nest we publish it by the internet to our own IoT um, cloud or MQTT broker and then we basically subscribe to the data to get the data back here and then I was able to send a command from from my um, from my MQTT client from my other MQTT client um, via my little program to nest okay so far so good the most of the information should be in um, in the block if you have other information if you need other infos you can contact me um, either by email or Twitter and uh, I hope this is uh, gonna be useful for you okay